What the? You little know, black! Sorry, was that black hit, mister? I'll kill you! You wait! I'll kill you! Blast. Bad luck, Elgin. Nice shot, Commander. <laughs> Too good for me. <laughs> well, your handicap's all right. There's obviously no problem with your game. There's uh, no other problem, is there? Not money, is it? Oh, no. Your bank references are excellent. No, it's simply that, uh, <clears throat> well, when you're being put up for a club like this, you're not just being put up for the odd game of golf, you know. I mean, we have a lord and lady of the realm. We have a cabinet minister. We have several captains of industry amongst the membership, not to mention Her Majesty's judiciary. Yes, well, uh, I never mind mixing a bit of business with pleasure. Quite right. Which brings me to the point, which I'll make bluntly. With the people with whom we associate, we have to be absolutely certain there is not the slightest whiff of scandal or anything... Uh, Mr. Ogden, can I have a word? Not now. Uh, it's important, Mr. Ogden. Who's that? Uh, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Well, by the look of him, you'd do well to take my advice and get rid of him damn quick. I'll be in the 19th. First question, what are you doing here? Second question, who told you I was here? Fred, he didn't want to, Mr. Hawking, but it's urgent. It had better be. It's that musical box. You got that clue? No. I mean, I don't know. It's been nicked. The old thing. I was going to record the tune for you, but I never had the chance. Who? Tell me. Who put that one over on you? The Prescotts. Well, Paula. Is that your Mark, Butler? Getting done over by little kids? So why do you come and tell me here? I want to know what you want me to do. Because I'll have to show myself now if I just go and get it straight back. No, 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 no. No, you've done enough damage for one day. Oh, I'll talk to the organ grinder next, never mind the monkey. But I'll tell you one thing. If I don't get a result here, you are going to be dancing on the end of a very short chain. What are you going to tell him? Smile, innit? Why should I feel bad? Paula, we've got to go in a minute. If I'm not there when he gets in... Look at this. What? That's no. Brian must have pulled it in. Play it. you're on about. Linda, I can't explain. Not yet. Not till I'm sure. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Frank Butler. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, can I do anything for you, gentlemen, or, um, or are you just here for the kicks? Oh, funny man. <laughs> you're going to shut up shop, son. That's what you're going to do. Oh, I beg your pardon? You heard, Frank. Look this place up and come with us. Uh, what is all this? Oh, oh. Come on, come on. Oh, no, sit down. Go on. Go on. Frank Butler. Oh, will somebody tell me what's going on? I'm looking for a seven-letter word meaning in the firing line at netball. Know anything about netball, do you? Now, listen, whoever you are, you've made some sort of mistake. 
Elkin. Charles Elkin. It's about your boy, Frank. Or should I say, our boy. Our Brian. Hasn't he ever told you who he works for? Well, he works for me. He's a junior partner in the family business. Well, that must be some private arrangement, Frank. Because he works for me. Does a bit of driving, a bit of collecting, lays on a car or two. Oh, no. Haven't you ever noticed he's hardly ever there? Oh, he's in with the big boys now. All the villainy. Proper little help he is. You'd be proud of him. <laughs> Look, Mr Elkin, I think you've made a mistake. You, you've got the wrong family, the wrong butlers. No, no, no. It's definitely your Brian, Frank. The musical box king. Well, he's all tied in with the naughty boys now. So, if one of them goes down for a job, he goes down and all. Know what I mean? Oh, I think I just got that clue. The netball one. Shooter. S H double O T E R. Lovely. So, well, what do you want from me? What, what is it? Is it cheap motors? Is it? No, 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 no. We got those and stolen ones. You ask your bri. Money? Is it money? Glasses. Half a pair of bins. They went missing on a job. Got picked up and hidden away by your old man of all people, God rest his soul. But apparently, he left a clue. I won't go into the details. You ask your bri. He knows all about it. But a certain little Paula has got a musical box with a tune on it. Charlie Four. Charlie Four. Big Sunbelt wants a pick-up, heading for his wife. Blimey, Terry, you've been at the wine gums. I'm down at Stratford. Sadly special, mate. Definitely wants you. Got a name, has he? He can give it. He's going or not. Yeah. What's this? I was down in Stratford. It's trouble, mate. I'm in trouble. I'm, I need a bit of help. Yeah, yeah. Uh, You've been a naughty boy then? Oh, no, no, it's nothing like that, no. It's, and this is nasty, you know. It's, uh, it's near home. You know, it's real trouble. Well, you better tell me about it then. Um, I'll take you for a drink. You look as if you need one, mate. <laughs> Brian's it up to his neck. If Elkin goes down, so does he. And my business with him. I mean, you know the score. Guilty by association. Yeah, leopard motors. <sighs> Better kill Ellie. Our dog, she won't lift her head again. So where is the old man's musical box? I mean, are you saying that Brian did nick you yesterday? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Mick. It's all right, Frank. Somehow, your Paul has got it back again. Well, this is this is where you come in. <laughs> 